Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today is going to be a pretty simple short one. It's a smooth spin transition and it's basically the same thing as the smooth zoom but with a spin and I didn't want to do this tutorial before but it's been requested and I did not know what to do this week so here we go. Uh, since it's a transition you're gonna need two clips so here I have two beautiful clips from Pixar Bay because yeah and since the effect we're going to do is going to decrease the quality of the picture. We only want the effect to be applied to the part of the clip that we are actually going to have the effect on. And so in my case, I chose 14 frames. So I'm just going to count 14 frames to the left of the center of the transition. And I'm going to do the same for the right. So the goal is going to be to have the spin. But if I just spin the clip without really thinking about it, so I'm going to do it here. If I just spin it, we have some black, and so we're going to want to fill this black, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to add video grid, which will make the, well, a grid of stuff. And I know that for free things, free replications, I need 105 here for both of them, so I'm just going to type it in because it's easier. Now it wouldn't look good if I just pinned because there's like um, a difference between this and this, you know. And so I'm going to use um, border fill, fill borders, sorry. And then you can see it fills the side, but that's ugly as well. But if you go here and you choose mirror, it will replicate it. And then you can just do the right number for this. And it should be around 640 and 360 for the other ones. Um, yeah. Just like change it until there's, you can see the line. So here is good. And then this one around 360. And I think we will be good. So now we have a good thing, but there's still like, we need to zoom in. And so you, we're going to use a transform effect. And since we have, sorry, um, free replications, we're going to need 300%. And now I'm in the center. And so you can see that the quality is not as good uh, as here. It's not that noticeable, but like there's less pixels. But we're going to add some blur and we're going to turn so it's not going to be that noticeable. So with the transform, we're going to also turn. And here is the thing. I'm going to be nice and I'm going to share these project files. So there's a link in the desk. But if you want to have a different number of frames than 14, which is what I chose, you can redo it in the same way. And so the problem, one of the problems with Canon Lives is that we don't have like a nice curve interpolation thing yet. And so right now, the only option is smooth or linear. The problem is like smooth is a little random sometimes. And so if you want something to be actual, like exponential or something you have to choose the values yourselves and so what i did is i went on geogebra um so i don't know if you know this website it's um a website i used at school when i was like in middle school but it's very useful and so you can enter like equations and stuff and then it gives you um the amount for stuff so basically i knew i wanted something exponential going from 0 to 180 and I did some math and so then I asked for the points here uh, so you just go here and you can ask a table of values and here you can choose uh, what values you want and so I'm just going from 1 to 5 um, that's because at first I was doing it with 8 but now I'm going with 5 so you can just ignore the bottom ones and so you have values here, and you're just going to um, input these values in Canon Live. And so these numbers are 0, 1, 3, 8, 23, and 64. So I'm just going to go here, and I'm going to do this one at 1. And then 3. And then 8. And then 23. Then 64. And lastly, 180. And so now I should have a nice smooth first part of the transition. 
And so we're going to do the same for the second one, but we're just going to copy and paste the effects on this. Um, the control P is a custom shortcut, but you can just go like this. So if you go here, and now we need to kind of change the values here uh, in the opposite direction. And so it's kind of annoying, so I'm just going to go do it faster. And I realized I forgot, you need to now change everything to the negative. Because, yeah, you want the rotation to go in the other direction. But that's very easy to change. And now we have a nice transition. Um, if you want it to play more smoothly, you can try to change the value here of the preview window. That's a little bit better. You can also pre-render. I also want to add some blur. We don't have um, circular blur or motion blur, sadly, but we have box blur and it's gonna do. Like, it's so fast, you don't really notice it anyway. So I'm gonna go to the very beginning, put everything at zero, and then at the end, I'm gonna add some horizontal multiplicator to like 40%. That's what I found was nice. And then I'm going to go in the middle and put it like way lower, like at 5 or 4. And this will go to like 1. And then somewhere in the middle, middle here, I'm going to go lower as well, because we want it to be sort of exponential, but like that's not that important. So like I'm doing it kind of randomly. And then you can just copy this to the other one. And suddenly we can't exchange the keyframes anymore, which is annoying. Um, before, you could just like take it and go like <laughs> all the way, but now it doesn't work for some reason, which is very annoying. Um, you can copy them, but it's not that practical. I find it just easier to just do it myself. Yeah, um, yeah, that's way too much. We said 40, and then something like, oops, for 15, yeah, 4, and like 1. And that's good enough. And so we have uh, the transition. We had something weird happening here. I'm not sure what's happening. It's because it is at 40 at the end. You need to put it to zero, I forgot. And here we go. And to the, do the other direction, it's easy. You can just like copy and paste and change the minus and the pluses if you need both, or you can just do, do it with the opposite direction at the beginning. But as I was saying, I am being very nice. No, I mean, yeah, KD store. Um, so yes, there's gonna be links for both clockwise and counterclockwise directions. And basically, to apply them, it's very easy. So I'm just going to ignore what I've done, because it's going to be exactly the same thing that I'm going to copy and paste. Um, so you go to your transition place, you go 14 back, then you cut it. Same for the other one. And then you, once you've copied them to the right directory, which is, um, I'll put it in the link because I don't know it by heart. Uh, then you go to your custom stuff and then you go to smooth spin and you have clockwise and trigonometrical direction. Um, because yeah, counterclockwise was too long. And so you just put one on the first one, two on the second one, and then it should work. Boop. Yeah. And so like you can add as many as you want and you can mix it in with uh, the smooth zooms and stuff that I've done before. So yeah. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, more coming, leave a comment. I did not answer like any comments from last week, but I did read everything and thank you everybody. It was very nice. Um, it made me want to post this week. So yes, thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.